I want to tell you about my favorite app. No, it's not Facebook. It's not Instagram. I used to print out Monterey Bay Aquarium's seafood guide before apps existed. <laughs> if you eat fish, if you're a pescatarian, or if you eat everything, listen up. The oceans are not in a great state right now. And one of the things that fishing does is they use factory trawlers to basically dredge the ocean floor with these huge nets. They pick up everything in its way. So the long and short of fishing is we're overfishing and we're depopulating a lot of species. So what Monterey Bay Aquarium's app does is it offers you choices. It's not just like you can't eat all fish. What it does is it says, if you're going to choose to eat fish, here are how the populations are doing so you can make an informed choice. Brilliant, right? Let me show you. So for example, if I type in salmon, it'll be like, okay, what kind of salmon are you looking for? Once you get a little bit more specific, it'll show you Atlantic versus Chinook versus Coho. It gives you like the best option in green, which is worldwide indoor recirculating tank. So the ones that are created in these like recirculating tanks, it sounds gross, but it's a better option apparently than ones in the wild. See, if you scroll all the way down, you have worse choices. Like the coho salmon from Chile is not doing good. North American Columbian River. So anyway, it tells you a summary about why that choice is better. And these guys study fish. They know what they're talking about. In the danger of sounding like Portlandia in the chicken episode, I just think it's really important to not eat the last Atlantic salmon there is named Bob who his kids are wondering when he'll be home. If you're gonna eat fish, do me a favor and think about how fish populations are doing around the world because it's really important that we humans don't take everything that is here. Gung ho, Eco.